afternoon. I'm Dr. G, and I'm going to be reading today from the Suncoast Youth Conservation Center's fishing pier. You can see that behind me. Today we're going to learn about food webs. And a food web is sort of a spider web looking map of who eats who and how that nutritional energy transfers from one critter to the next as it gets eaten. But I want to introduce you to this little critter here who's sort of in the middle of the food web of the story. And this is our shrimp. You can see he has lots of legs and a wiggly tail. You'll meet him throughout the story and hopefully by the end of the book, you will realize what a food web is. You'll be able to know what every food web on earth needs in order to be supported. And you'll find out what is at the very base of the sea's food web. So this is the sea that feeds us by Robert Baldwin and illustrations by Don Dien. This is the sea that feeds us. This is the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. These are the plankton floating free, zillions of creatures alive in the sea, making their food from the light of the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. So in this picture, you see the phytoplankton. Phyto means plant and plankton means wanderer or drifter. So these phytoplankton are actually wandering plants out in the sea. Here is a shrimp, as small as a snail, lots of legs and a squiggly tail. Dining on plankton, floating free, zillions of creatures alive in the sea, making their food from the light of the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. So this little young shrimp that's only about the size of a snail is going to start by eating zooplankton. And those zooplankton are tiny animals that will eat the phytoplankton. A curious girl with a sandy pail caught a shrimp as small as a snail, lots of legs and a squiggly tail, that ate the plankton floating free, zillions of creatures alive in the sea, making their food from the light of the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. So nothing would be alive in the oceans if there were no plankton. So the plankton are kind of like ocean grass, that sort of basic basis of the food chain in the sea. This is the wind, mighty and grand, that drove the waves upon the sand and made the gloomy storm clouds fly like airborne whales across the sky. You can turn my pages for me too. The roaring wind and the booming gale thrilled the girl with the sandy pail who caught the shrimp as small as a snail, lots of legs and a squiggly tail, that ate the plankton floating free, zillions of creatures alive in the sea, making their food from the light of the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. So those strong storms and currents that happen out over the ocean help our phytoplankton grow by churning up all the nutrients the vitamins and the minerals that are deep down in the ocean that they need to survive. This is where the story gets good. A mother stood by the sandy shore watching the ocean tumble and roar. She hugged the girl with the sandy pail and baited a hook in a blistery gale with a little shrimp as small as a snail, lots of legs and a squiggly tail that ate the plankton floating free, zillions of creatures alive in the sea, making their food from the light of the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. Go mom. This is the fish with a hungry look that saw the shrimp but not the hook. As the mother fished in the booming gale that thrilled the girl with the sandy pail who caught the shrimp as small as a snail, lots of legs and a squiggly tail, that ate the plankton floating free, zillions of creatures alive in the sea, making their food from the light of the sun that shines on the sea that feeds us. So here in this picture, you see a black sea bass eating the shrimp. It also will eat some of the smaller fish that will eat the zooplankton that eat the phytoplankton. 
And then the wind had gone its way, and the fiddler crabs came out to play. A barefoot man, all jolly and brown, built a fire as the sun went down. The people, as they began to cook, thanked the fish with the hungry look. They thanked the sea that feeds us all, that feeds the creatures great and small. That feeds the crabs and feeds the whales and feeds the sharks and feeds the snails and feeds the ocean's fabulous fishes a feast of their favorite seafood dishes and feeds each shrimp as small as a snail with lots of legs and a squiggly tail a supper of plankton floating free, zillions of creature alive in the sea. The ocean not only gives us food, it gives us oxygen too. So phytoplankton, remember they're little plants, so they produce more than half of the world's oxygen supply. And they make their food from the light of the sun and gone with the tide when the day is done, adrift in the sea that feeds us. So here, in this little jar next to me, I took a sample of the water behind me, and you can't really see them, but in that water are some of those phytoplankton floating free, and those phytoplankton are the base of that marine or ocean food chain. Without these phytoplankton, no food is out there. Not, and as you saw from the book, people are, can be at the top of that food web from the ocean. And do you remember what every food web probably depends on in order to keep going? That's right, the sun. There's a nice cloud behind me right now, so I'm appreciative of the cloud blocking the sun, but that sun's still shining which means the phytoplankton are still growing and feeding the zooplankton, which feed our shrimp. And if you notice, our little shrimp with the lots of legs and wiggly tail also has one of those hooks in it. And if you get a chance to come out here and go fishing at the Sun Coast, you might be able to use one of these shrimp or maybe a live shrimp or a frozen shrimp that doesn't, isn't made of rubber. And perhaps you'll catch one of our friends like the spotted sea trout that is sometimes caught on a shrimp right out here behind me. So there's something that you can do to help protect our marine food webs. It's up to us to make sure that our ocean water stays clean and the ocean stay healthy. And as long as we make sure the ocean stay clean and healthy, the sea will continue to produce oxygen and food for us as long as the sun is shining. I hope you enjoyed the story.